Hey everybody, trying to get in some games with uh, Power Shutdown and Uh This hand looks like a keep to me, uh, despite having only Wall of Thorns as ice. I've got Shock to show off as protection for my hand a little bit, and uh, if he's not running Siphon I'll be alright. I can gift for his turn and then play Wall of Thorns. Oh, there's an Enigma. Perfect. Um, he probably won't want to face check this Wall of Thorns and take two, so I'm going to play that out. Uh, I'm probably going to want it on Archives, or on, uh, R&D regardless, so figure, put it there now. If he doesn't run, I get the power shut down. If he does run, I get to smack him for two. If he siphons me... I'll be frustrated. Part of the reason why Kate's life is so good is that people will leave up an HQ against Kate turn one if they don't have agendas. Maybe he'll just play at man on five and run it. <laughs> he goes, draw a card, sure gamble. Draw a card. Take a money, discard a card. Interesting. Mm. So, I could draw a card and gift here. That wouldn't be terrible. Let's try that. Alright, well there's a Nisei. Now I'm less inclined to gift. I'll play Restructure and then Enigma. Don't really want to show that one off. Maybe I should be rushing that. I'm not really sure. That actually probably makes a lot more sense in retrospect. But I'd be surprised if he couldn't get into that remote. Personal workshop. Okay. Um, let's draw a card and the gift. Alright, I'm rich. <laughs> Strange that he went and played Katie but didn't use Katie last turn. Instead, he opted to play the personal workshop. Can't say I agree, though he... I guess he was trying to dump cards from his hand. Uh, well, I'm going to need to find another piece of ice. Hopefully it's good. Preferably like a Baco or something cheap, just like a little end the run. Draws a card, Katie money. You can install something. He's, he's deadly afraid of these power shutdowns, I'm sure. Just does not want to get hit by them. Um, hmm, what can I do here? Well, I can draw a card. Install a shock. Click for a credit, and I'm going to discard this false lead. Maybe this was the wrong way to go, I'm not sure. Oh look, Gozix joined the game. Interesting that Gozik is the one that engineered, I think, the power shutdown Jinteki. Originally, he did really well in the uh Netrunner League with it, he won, actually. He beat me playing this deck. Strange play to go get a Corroder when he knows I have all these power shutdowns. Um, and unfortunate that I didn't just run an agenda out. 
Um, all right, pretty good hit there. Um, then I will trash this shock and then install Archer Brain Trust. And say go. Now I've got uh, two shocks in the discard. So he's not going to want to check that. He does anyway. He gets to steal a false lead, but he loses three cards. They are modded inside job and indexing. Interesting. Inside job, huh? Well, he's not going to want to check this one now. <laughs> All right, let's score my brain trust. Archer is now turned on. Get another modded. I get my subliminal back, that's sweet. So let's play subliminal. Baco here. Uh, Nisei Advance. Doesn't look like he's going to come for it this turn, so I get a Nisa out of the deal. That's good. He's got SMC, so he's going to be able to get back his Corroder. Or not SMC, Clone Chip, rather. And I get a Tinkering. Interesting deck. Just like regular Shaper nonsense, it looks like with a normal, regular old rig. Probably either, I would guess Corrode or Gordian Blade, and then like, maybe Garot, maybe Ninja, maybe some combination of Mimic, there's a Ninja, okay, so he's playing Ninja, unfortunate, very good against Grim. oh that's good, a Yugura, I like that. That's just really what I needed. Um, shit, I should have... Whatever. I can do it with Jackson here. Uh, let's just draw a regular card. I don't want to show off my Jackson. He didn't make a run, so I can't power shut down his clone chip. But it is something I'd like to do. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Okay, so he's got a reasonable setup going now. Does not want to go for uh, my Jackson Howard, unfortunate. Alright, Swordsman. So I'm going to draw two, I think, and then gift. Well, hmm. I could gift first and just... Yeah, that actually seems fine. Because this hand... Doesn't have a lot that I care that I'm showing off. He already knows about the power shutdown. It's 
So then I can go subliminal messaging draw two. Um, and I can discard Beetle. He's getting pretty rich. It's going to be hard to tax him. Uh, he's going to have Corroder Ninja out. So the archer is going to be difficult. This Baco is going to do basically nothing. Um, I could put a Grim out in front of this remote also. So it would cost them 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to get in. That's actually a ton. So maybe I can get away with this. He won't be able to get in twice, that's for sure. I might have to forfeit the brain trust to score the other brain trust. Uh, do I want to shuffle anything in before I draw? I sort of want to get to agendas, so maybe I want to shuffle in my feet on now. I don't know if this is correct. I'll always take more power shutdowns and uh, restructure. Do it this way. He actually can afford to get in twice, can he? But it will waste like all of his money. Stupid clone chips. <sighs> I didn't want to play against Clone Chip the deck. But it looks like I have to. He might want to install, like, yeah, SMC, okay. So now he can get. Probably get in twice. But we'll see. Yagura, go get your stupid crow go get your Koge Breaker. Yeah, he's on his last click, so I'm scoring this brain trust regardless. And then I'll just be a clone retirement away. I can just like aggro draw cards to find a clone retirement. Run it, he says. Yes, I'll send you girl to the bottom of my deck. Whoa, I got his Gordian Blade! <laughs> Alright, um... Do I want to send you girl to the bottom of my deck? No. I'll keep it on top. Maybe I should have sent it to the bottom to make him pay. He wants to look anyway. Interesting. Well, it's not going to do it. And I don't have to uh, res Archer. Good. Dim hack. <laughs> Not the sort of card anybody feels like playing against Jinteki. Uh, I could power shut down his SMC, but it doesn't do basically anything. He's got his Breaker Suite, like, all discarded. Like, you know, what is he getting with this? Sharpshooter, maybe? Doesn't really matter, he's got two clone chips and a ton of money. Strange, he didn't use Katie that time. Or run. Let's just find a clone retirement and win the game. 
I'll start with a draw. Might as well keep drawing. I'll just put another Yugur here. It continues to be good regardless. And I'll discard Swordsman or Baka. Swordsman, I guess, is worse. Maybe should have played Jackson Howard to defend from indexing, but it's going to cost him a lot of money to get in a lot of times. So I'm s and he's not he's only on one point, so I'm sort of relying on that. Though I do expect an indexing. He knows, he knows this is Enigma. He's going to have to lose his SMC here anyway, so. If he wants to use SMC, no, he's just trashing it. Fair enough. Hit a shock. It'll be hilarious. No, nope, he hits Baco. Okay. There. <laughs> the funny thing is, I can install and use Jackson Howard and just for about forever. Like, he's not even running on R and D. He doesn't even care. I also have a Nisei counter, so if he like is making repeated runs on HQ every turn, doesn't really do it. Now, I could install Shock. Um, just for whatever. Alright, he levies. He did run that turn, so I could bin the clone ship. That's actually pretty good. I trash a clone retirement, naturally. Now I can play Restructure and Jackson Howard, I guess, is what I want to do. I don't want him stealing that clone retirement. Getting that bad publicity is, is pretty good, and I obviously just want to have him myself. Uh, at end of turn, if he runs R&D and, and I know what the top card is and it's not what I want, I can shuffle in clone retirement. Strange that he'd run on HQ here, sort of. Um, and not run on the remote. But I guess, I guess if he runs on the remote, I don't know. Maybe I just want to use this uh, Jackson to shuffle in my my clone retirement now. Oh, and he installs the toolbox. Or he goes to install this. I am going to use Jackson. Shuffle in just clone retirement. Because that's all I want. <laughs> Draw a card. Hedge fund. Or uh, restructure. And toll booth. Toll booth on HQ is going to make it somewhat unreasonable to get in multiple times. Which is good. It'll let me just like draw a ton of cards to find clone retirement. Uh, 
Oh, brain trust. That's pretty good. So he's going to have to run on click three here. Yeah, he decides to. Um, let's res this. Um, I don't res Baco. Why not? He's paying one. Should I res Archer now? Thinking. Uh, probably not. So he does steal my brain trust. What do I get off of him? An SMC. Doesn't do anything. Alright. And draws a card on his last click. There it is. Sweet. It worked. So I put this list together independently of Gozik, like, just based off the idea of power shutdown. I think my list is sort of different from him. Shitty mulligan, he says. Whatever.